free nursery training video, you'll learn how to teach rhyme with your preschoolers spectacularly well. You'll be learning what makes words rhyme, how to find rhyming sets of words, and most importantly, how rhyming helps children to be better at phonics so that they're ready for school. Like these other popular videos on this channel, I'm giving you a behind the scenes look into my high value, jam packed, ready for reading online course. You can find out more in the description below. So let's learn more about how to teach rhyme to nursery and preschool age children. So how rhyming really helps our little readers is because developing an awareness of rhyme helps children to understand a bit more that spoken words are made up of spoken sounds. And then when they're rhyming, they're listening out for when these chunks of sound sound the same and when they sound different. And learning to join in with and hear and match and make up rhymes like syllables is part of developing phonological awareness. Having a basic awareness of, of syllables then can really help with rhyming and we'll see in a minute that rhymes are created by the syllables. So it's so important that children have got a really good grasp of the syllables in the same way that we looked at last time with clapping out their names and clapping patterns and clapping out objects they're familiar with before we start with the rhyming. So what makes words rhyme? Well, rhyming is created by two parts of a syllable within a word, the onset and the rhyme. This sounds more complicated than it actually is. Practitioners don't use these terms with the children ever, but we need to know what they are so we can think of good rhyming games and think about words which rhyme. Onset and rhyme break syllables down even further into smaller sound chunks. For example, you've got an onset and a rhyme. The onset is the initial consonant or group of consonants in a syllable. So I've given you here five one-syllable words. Dog, hen, pig, sheep, straw. In these words, the initial consonant in dog, for example, d is the onset and the og is a rhyme. Onset and the rhyme are breaking that syllable up into smaller chunks. Hen, one syllable word, but the onset is the part, the initial consonant, and the end part is the rhyme. So in pig, initial consonant is p, so that's the onset, and then ig is the rhyme. Sheep, the onset, are the initial group of consonants, so sh, and eep, is the rhyme. Straw, the initial consonants in that word before the vowel are S, T and R, str, that's the onset. And or is the rhyme. So in all of these one syllable words, the onset is the consonant or group of consonants before the vowel, they're the onset. And remember the vowels are A, E, I, O and U. So whatever consonants in that syllable come before the vowel, they're the onset. And then the rhyme is the vowel plus any of the following consonants. So in dog, it's og. Hen, it's n. Pig, it's ig. Sheep, it's eep. And straw, it's or. So let's think, what is the onset and what is the rhyme? So there's the word moon. Moon, a one syllable word. What's the onset? What's the initial consonant before the vowel? Mm. And what's the rhyme? Well, there's the O and the O. Oon. Oon. So the onset is M mm, and the rhyme in this one syllable word is Oon. Let's think about this word. What's the onset? Well, it's the consonant that comes before the vowel in this one syllable word, B. So our consonant at the beginning before the vowel is B and the rhyme is E and E, E, B, E. What's about this one? So where's the first vowel? The first vowel is A. So what's the consonants before the A? It's a C and an H. So they're the CH sound. So the onset in the word chair is CH and the rhyme is air, CH, air, clock. Where's the first vowel in clock? It's the 
O sound. So the C and the L before the O is the onset. And then the vowel plus all the other consonants, OK, is the rhyme. Cl, OK, clock. So words rhyme when the rhyme is the same and the onset is different. D, og, fr, og. So in both of those words, the og part is the same, but d in dog and fr in frog are different. So the rhyme is always the same, the onset is always different. K, r, and st. R. They rhyme because the rhyming part, the A R R, is the same, but K R and St R, the onset is different. The same with egg and peg. Well, there's nothing before the vowel in egg, is there? So egg and peg, but there's exactly the same rhyming parts. The same with N P N. The rhyme N. It's the same in both of those words, but the onset, n and n is different. Fox and socks, ox, ox. So even fox and socks, the, the rhyming part is spelt differently. Ox, O-X, and socks, ox, O-C-K-S. The rhyming part sounds the same, ox and so the only bit that's different in those two words is the onset. Ox, s, ox. So it doesn't necessarily always follow that the spelling is the same, but we're listening out for the beginnings of words to sound different and the ends to sound the same. Let's think about some words that rhyme with moon, bee, chair and clock. So they're the words that we've already looked at. We know what the onset looks like. Remember, for words to rhyme, the onset is going to be different, but the rhyme, the oon, the e, the air and the oc, will be the same in all of our rhyming words. Pause the video for a second and think about some rhyming lists. Can you think of some words which would rhyme with moon? Can you think of some words that rhyme with b, chair and clock? B, C, tree, three. We might already in our heads know that these rhyme, but look at those words really carefully. You can see the rhyme is the same, but the consonants at the beginning of those words, the onset is different. So we're starting to pull apart words for similarities and differences in parts of words, in chunks of sound. Clock, sock, rock and lock. You can see in these words, all the consonants, the onset is different. Cl, s, r, l. But the oc is exactly the same in all of those words. Moon, spoon, baboon, balloon. So in all of these words, moon and spoon, you can see the oon. And the rhyme is the same, but the onset, the consonants at the beginning are different. Baboon and balloon are a little bit different because they're two syllable words. Baboon, balloon. But you can see that these rhyme because the second syllable got the same rhyming pattern as moon and spoon. There's a consonant that's different, but there's a rhyme that is the same. So it doesn't matter whether they're one syllable words like moon and spoon, or whether they're two syllables, baboon, balloon. As so long as in the second syllable, the rhyming pattern is the same. The consonant, the onset is different, but the rhyming part, the vowel and everything that follows is the same. Chair, hair, bear, square. Now this is a good example that although these words are written differently, the air sound sounds the same. Ch, air, h, air, b, air, squ, air. So the air sound might be spoke differently, but it sounds exactly the same, which means that the vowel and everything that follows the rhyme is going to be the same in all of those words. But the consonants at the beginning, the onset, is different in all of those words. So there you have it, a free how to teach rhyme training to share with anybody who's working with two, three, and four-year-olds. Remember, this free training is only the start. With over five hours of training videos, heaps of new ideas and tons of top tips, this high-value Ready for Reading course answers all of the questions preschool practitioners just like you have about getting your children ready for phonics when they start school. 
And if this free how to teach rhyme training has been useful, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up, subscribe and click the bell to be notified for more videos just like this one. And let us know how you got on. We'd love to hear from you. See you soon.